Hello, dear students and pupils! I'm glad to greet you again, and today I'm going to talk about form of adjectives and some details which are necessary for you also. So please uh, look at this slide, at the first slide. I'd like to uh, say that at the same time, except of uh, forms which adjective may have, I mean superlative form or comparative form, we may use also such kind of words like so, such, to and enough in order to emphasize meaning of the sentence, uh, emphasize some adjective. So, how to use them? Let's see. Firstly, comparatives and superlatives. We know that uh, each adjective may have three forms. The first form is positive form without any changings, but the second form is comparative. How to organize this form? With the help of adding ER, uh, we may organize such kind of form. It means that you compare two things, two people or uh, several things, three and more. Well, what about superlative form? Superlative form is organized in order to emphasize uh, some qualities of only one thing or person, maybe. So, for this purpose, you should put definite article there before uh, your adjective and you should put ending ESC. You know this rule for you, from your um, school ages, but we have also such kind of uh, irregular forms. So, irregular forms, it means that you uh, use comparative form and superlative, but for their creation you should change word absolutely. You cannot do it yourself according to your wish or imagination, of course. You should use some rules, existing rules. So, and it means that some words may change their root, their initial form and will be represented in absolutely another form with absolutely maybe even another letters. You should just learn it by heart and everything will be okay. By the way, I'd like to mention that some uh, adjectives may be uh, put in some um, form of comparatives and superlatives with the help of uh, words more for comparatives and the most for uh, superlatives. In this case, you should put only these two words in front of your adjectives, but <clears throat> you shouldn't put ending uh, ER or EST for superlatives. Because if you have word with three or more syllables, you shouldn't make it longer. You should just put separate word and it will be understandable that you mean comparative or superlative form. So remember this fact. Now let's go on and our next step and is so and such. So what is it? Uh, two words which are used in order to emphasize some adjective, some meaning of the sentence and how they should be used in the sentence. Actually, there is some detail that you should know. Uh, you should use so uh, when you have some particular structure. For example, so plus adjective or adverb depends on situation uh, and Z and maybe close. So can you see some example? Uh, so expensive, so quickly and you cannot see any noun or pronoun in the sentence. It means that if you like just only emphasize some adjective, please use word so. In comparing with the next slide where I illustrated how to use such. Such you may use in front of adjective, but if this adjective describes noun, you should use not so, but such as you can see at this slide. 
Well, such a hot day. We have adjective hot, but anyway, this adjective describes a day. That's why I fix not so, but such or such hot weather, such good players. Can you see? Using this rule, I mean not using, just following this rule, you will make your speech more clear and uh, similar with native speech. So, to end enough. Also some details, some words in order to emphasize, to uh, put stress into some details in the sentence, inside the sentence. So, how to use them? You should pay attention to their location inside the sentence and hear your structure. Can you see at the beginning of the slide before some examples? To plus adjective or adverb. Uh, for plus noun. To plus infinitive. So like possible uh, variations. So the music is too loud. Well, he speaks too loudly. Can you see adverb and adjective? But anyway, using too, we emphasize that something is too much, too strong, uh, too many. So anyway, just using too, you'd like to show amount of something, form of something, condition. So, what about enough? Actually, there are two ways of usage of this word. So, enough may be used at the end of the sentence and may be used uh, in the middle of the sentence. How to differentiate these situations? Can you see uh, that in the first part of your slide, some structure and examples. Look, please. It's warm enough. I fixed the word enough at the end of your grammar base. So, uh, after verb and after uh, adjective. If we describe something, it is necessary and it's enough just to put word enough at the end of the sentence. And that is all. Or another example. He speaks slowly enough. So, after adjective, when you finish your idea, you may put enough at the end of the sentence. Another example. He isn't old enough to order a beer. So, uh, in this example, I also fixed uh, enough after adjective but I didn't finish my sentence. Why? Because I wanted to continue my idea. I just uh, like started a new part. Well, but anyway, after adjective, you should put enough and uh, you may finish your sentence. It will be okay. Another situation when you may use enough in the middle part of your sentence. Look, please. Uh, there are not enough biscuits. After enough, we have noun. If you would like to express some noun or pronoun, you should put your uh, word enough in the middle part. So, before noun. So, this detail will also be useful for you, make your speech better. So, I recommend you use this information. So, my dear, thank you for your attention. See you. Goodbye.